Hey all, and welcome back to Fuzzy Dots of Gaming and a new video on the channel going over my two farming atlas trees that I'm using at the moment to make currency. Now this is probably not the best and most lucrative farming strategy in the world. I'm just doing stuff that I enjoy doing and that suits my character. So the two methods we're going to look at are my destructive play and corpse farming and then I've got a delirium and breach setup that I do uh, for fun. It gets more XP, it's more challenging, it gets decent loot but I do it mainly because I really really enjoy it. The destructive play one is as usual for my strategies it's an alk and go no investment whatsoever you just need 10 random maps and you'll drop maps along the way to self-sustain and then you're just going to use boss maps that you drop to then run invitations you can then if you want to run the bosses from the fragments there's loads of different points during the strategy where you can stop uh, in terms of the atlas tree for destructive play it's obviously destructive play and all the nodes to try and shortcut uh, a, a witnessed boss taking so the boss nodes here and I'm also taking some Scarab nodes just because I had a few points spare and I didn't really want to put any mechanics in the map that will slow them down. For anyone that watched my previous video, I had Harbinger in there and it just slowed it down um, horrendously and you very rarely dropped anything worth any currency. So what I've added in is strong boxes, and I've added them in for a couple of reasons. One, you might get lucky and get a decent strong box and get a nice drop. Secondly, it looks like when you have a strong box with monsters in it, those monsters are the ones that would naturally occupy the map. So if you've managed to get Chaos Orbs as a reward in the League Mechanic or even Luckier Divines, then these will come out the strong box and you've got a chance of getting them as well as the loot that comes from the strong boxes. I'm blocking a few mechanics I don't want to see. So Ultimatum, Blight, Ritual, Breach, Abyss, Expedition. It also blocks those Scarabs from dropping and I don't think any of them are particularly lucrative, so it doesn't really bother me. And then we're taking a few of the League Mechanic nodes just to basically get higher modifiers, more chance to get devoted modifiers, and just stack more effects onto the monsters. And then with the remaining points, we just take in uh, some map nodes. Uh, and that's kind of it. So it is Alk and Go. It is boss rush, but the way you have the boss rush now is you have to kill monsters in the map to get Maven to spawn additional bosses. So what I tend to do is favorite maps that are linear. So I don't have my feared slot yet because I've still not unlocked that. So I'll try to run connected maps where I'm going to kill the majority of the mobs in the map on the way to the boss. So I've got Strand, Fields, Dunes, Toxic Sewer, Channel, Foundry, Tropical Island, Ashenwood, Shipyard, Iceberg and Fungal Hollow. Ashenwood, the boss can turn up really early because he's in a random place, um, but I like the map and it's nice and easy. So I've got my maps ready to go. So we'll just go and run uh, a map as a showcase. So we'll just do a nice easy one, strand, super linear. So all I'm doing, make sure I've got my destructive play on with the Maven witnessing. Don't do anything on the map device. And then here, I'll just add difficult mods onto these because my character can handle them. So we'll go for increased damage, chance to evade. What you could do is put this up here and then use one of your all flames, but I don't have many all flames, so I'm just going to save them until I get... Um, a juicy chance to put those in so we'll go and run the map so you don't have to kill everything you just have to kill um, a decent chunk of the monsters and so we'll do strong boxes because you never know a when scabs are going to drop and also if i had decent rewards from the lead mechanic uh, then i'm definitely going to be want to be activating all the strong boxes Oh, nearly killed myself there. <laughs> oh, actually, no, that's a lie. I didn't because you can't put yourself corrupting fever. Right. Let's say there are no mechanics. You just rush through killing as many monsters as you can. Um, obviously, collect anything you think is worthwhile in terms of corpses. And some modifier rank we definitely want. Not bothered about the other two. And the majority of corpses sell for about 5c. There's not many that are less than that unless they're just ones that you don't want to collect. So the 5% chance to not be consumed is pretty rubbish. Maven's very delayed. Um, so there we got a Redeemer map. We got a Synth map. We got a T17 map. And we've got a Scarab, so very nice. So what I'm going to do now is we'll assume that map's three minutes. I'm going to do an hour's worth of farming. Then I'll come back to you with how much loot we've generated. Now, bear in mind, this is something that builds up over time. So the first hour is probably not going to be that lucrative. 
because you're not going to be able to get into Guardian Invitations. So what might happen is you might make three to four Divines on your first hour, but then you've built up some boss maps. So you can then go and do some Invitations, drop Maven Ritz, drop Fragments. You can then decide to run those bosses if you want. And it spirals up from there. And once you get a decent supply of boss maps, you can basically just run those for the most part and do Invitations. And then you get stuff like Awakened Gems drop, Fragments from those as well. There's lots of different ways you can do it. You can be one of those that sells everything, or you can be one of those that runs everything. So I'll be back with you in an hour, and we'll see how we got on. So we got to the end of the hour. I've completed one formed rotation, two ten ways, and then we've also got another formed ready to go. I've also got three of the twisted done. I just need an eradicator map to drop. And that's what I'm saying. The more you do this strategy, the more hours you put into it, the higher returns you're going to get because you're going to be running the big invitations more than the ten ways. The ten ways are good. They make okay money and we still get a lot of corpses as we map. But the idea is that you want to be farming as much as you can in either the formed the Twisted or the Elder Slayers. Uh, so we'll go and do this invitation and we'll top up uh, the currency. So we'll just roll it to try and get some decent quant. 62 is okay, but probably not worth it for 50% more life. Um, 75, this one's not going to be easy with um, Life as ES because I hate Life as ES, but we'll give it a go. And we've got ample DPS to deal with it, to be fair. It's just not a mod I like to put on if I can avoid it. But this is pretty high quantity, so we'll go with it. Okay, cool job done. Got awaken minion damage done, so I think we'll find out in a second. Okay, so let's dump this and then we'll just update our stash and see what currency we've got. How much is the uh, minion gem? 110 seed, that's pretty good. Um, so we'll just get the interface to refresh. And we're sitting at just under. Um, 10 divines. It was slightly more than an hour because obviously just run the invitation, so we'll call it an hour in a minute. Although I did give three minutes for the first map. I'm pretty sure it didn't take that long. Um, so you're looking at about 10 divines profit. That is obviously including everything. Um, it also isn't finding one of my T17 maps for some reason, but 
it is what it is. So obviously, it's going to include all the stuff, like all these little scarabs that you could sell in bulk, but you might maybe get 60% um, of the price. But the majority of the stuff that you get are going to be in corpses that you can sell um, pretty easily. There's the odd map, which again, you can sell in bulk if you want to. They still sell. Uh, but the majority of your currency is going to come from your boss maps, your fragments, your maven writs. And then as you start to do your own maps, you're kind of replacing the maps with fragments, writs. As you can see, we've got an awakened minion damage gem. So awakened gems are something you could get with a strat as well. As I say, it's not groundbreaking profit. I think 10 divines is probably about what you'd get once you're into it. Up to 12 if really, really quick. But it's a really easy, straightforward mapping strategy that you just need the map for. I'll bring a video out in a couple of days on my second strategy, which is a breach and delirium one. Again, it's not groundbreaking profit. It's probably about the same, if not a little bit less, but it's super, super fun. So if this is a strategy that you want to try, I've put my tree in the video description. I'm sure there's tons of things that can be tweaked. This is not something I've spent hours on min-maxing. I just know I wanted to do the lead mechanics. So I took some nodes. I wanted to do disruptor play and then I've just thrown strong boxes and scarabs in because they're things that don't really break up the flow of the map. Uh, that's it for this video. Hope it helps people out. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next one.